Hello, this is Frey, and welcome to my channel and the extreme one chunk Iron Man account that I'm starting in Canafis called Canafis Chunk. Now, if you've never seen a one chunk series before, you may be asking yourself, what is a chunk? And you'd be right to do so. Um, a chunk is an area of 150 square game tiles or 22,500 tiles. Um, that may sound like a lot, but it isn't. There are 3,347 chunks on the Old School RuneScape map, and to start, we're going to be locking ourselves to one of them. Now, the general rules of Extreme One Chunk Iron Man apply here. So, within my chunk, I must complete the highest level skilling challenges, complete all quests and diaries as much as is possible, obtain all unique monster drops, obtain all unique items, and complete all mini games. Now, having explained the rules, there's a reason that no one has started in Canafis before. Actually, multiple reasons. So, the skilling challenges and items don't appear to be too bad at first. They are, get 5 attack to wield a steel weapon, get 40 defense to equip rune armor, get 20 combat to get a slayer task from Mazchana, and obtain all best in slot items, being a black cape, a grey hat, a grey robe top, Grey boots, grey gloves, grey robe bottoms, a steel scimitar, a mithril chain body, a mithril square shield, and a rune med helm. That's it. No, you know, 2,000 hour items like uh, on Verf series. Just that stuff. So what's the problem? The first reason is to get to Mauritania in the first place, you need to do Priest in Peril. And in addition to this, we're also going to be doing the Restless Ghost because it just locks too much content in Mauritania. It's a fairly light requirement, but it is a requirement nonetheless. <laughs> Future Fry here. What I actually meant by do the Restless Ghost was forget to do the Restless Ghost and then have to go back and do it slightly later in the account once we'd already uh, been to Canafis. But that's my bad, and uh, we'll get to that later on. The second more pressing reason as to why it's pretty tricky to start here is that the only thing in Canafis is a ton of level 88 werewolves. Not very conducive to an extremely low level account with next to no gear. Definitely a problem that we'll explore and solve later in the video, but first we're going to knock out Priest in Peril with as low levels as possible so we can get to Canafis with the most vanilla Iron Man account that we possibly can. So, now that we're on the mainland, our toughest challenge in getting Priest in Peril done is going to be the Temple Guardian. Our biggest issue by far is that the Temple Guardian is an instanced fight, so we cannot rely on our main to help us like we can in some other fights in this quest. So the first thing we're going to be doing is getting level 5 attack for the Steel Battle Axe. Now, we only have 25 GP, so we can't afford to buy a Steel Battle Axe. So what we're going to do first is travel over to Draenor, buy some jugs of wine, and then use those to do the Stronghold under Barbarian Village. For those that don't know, completing the first two levels of Security Stronghold is going to net us 5k GP, which is going to be more than enough GP to get us into Mauritania. After a home teleport to Lumbridge, we're able to buy our Steel Battle Axe and get on with the quest. So this is the NPC that we did all of that prep for, a level 30, easily safe spotable Temple Guardian. Now this fight proved very, very difficult. So I was going to speed this clip up and kind of just show you the whole fight. However, it took over 40 minutes for me to get it down to like 10 hit points and then I had to go and have dinner with my kids because it took so long that uh, you know it, it ran into dinner time so we had to fully reset and start again very painful and even when fast forwarded to max the, to the max amount that my editing program will allow it still took over six minutes to play the clip so I think I'll just skip to the end okay we're nearly there this has taken, what, 27 minutes, and we're up to 8 attack. So, yeah, this has been pretty brutal, but we're getting there. It's regening H regens HP, like, r so slowly, but it's still sometimes faster than I'm hitting, which is really grim. Uh, we're nearly there. Come on, what if I just sneak a few hits in, get hit a bit? Come on, where are my twos? Where are my twos? 
There we go, it's down. Right, just need to go tell those monks. And they're gonna laugh at me, because I'm an idiot. So we were actually multi-questing whilst doing Priest in Peril because Rune Mysteries is actually a prerequisite to mine the Rune Essence that we need to complete Priest in Peril. So we've just completed uh, Rune Mysteries and mined our 50 Pure Essence, that, well, not Pure Essence, Rune Essence that we need. So by hitting a 1 on the Monk of Zamorak with my main, with a Blowpipe and a Serpentine Helm, I can guarantee that I Venom it, the Monk of Zamorak then regens its health to 100%. I then hit a 1 on it with a, uh, a, a Wind Strike or whatever. And then the Venom will take effect. And the Monk of Zamorak will die from the Venom. But I got the only true damage on it. Because it regened after I hit the 1 on my main. Uh, giving me the kill credit for the Monk. And therefore getting me the key without gaining any real experience. And after doing some more chatting, we are finally in Mauritania with the only skills that we got being 8 attack, 4 strength, 11 hit points and the 11 prayer from the quest reward. So I would say pretty, pretty low level to be getting into, uh, into Mauritania. Um, and we're now entering the chunk that we're going to be spending our next, uh, our next bit of time in. So, as is tradition on extreme one chunk man accounts, the first thing we're going to be doing when we get into our chunk is dropping all of the items that we got on the way here. Now that we've made it to Canafis, our main issue is now upon us. We need to get all of the best in slot gear that we mentioned at the top of the video as drops from level 88 werewolves. And the rune med helm that I mentioned has a drop rate of 1 in 170. So on average, we're going to have to kill 170 werewolves with these stats and this gear. The level 88 werewolves are the only attackable NPCs in the chunk. Or are they? With a wolfbane dagger, you can attack the named characters in Canafis and they won't transform into werewolves. Because the Eleven Prayer and Wolfbane Dagger are specifically given to us from a quest that I have to do to be here, I'm going to allow myself to use the prayers that I unlocked from getting Eleven Prayer and also retain the Wolfbane Dagger. I've already dropped all the other items that weren't specific to the chunk, but the Wolfbane Dagger is. Even with the Wolfbane Dagger, the NPCs themselves are pretty tough. Unlike most One Chunk Iron Man that I've seen, where there's goblins or men or chickens, there's only the civilians here, and they hit twos accurately and have 60 hit points, so will easily kill me with the stats that I have. I don't have any access to any food in this chunk, so the best way that I can possibly think to do this is to flinch them. So we've managed to find ourselves a flinching spot on Boris here. Um, I absolutely love the Wolfbane Dagger um, animation it does when stabbing. It's so, like, it's such a delayed um, animation, which is just, they always look good, right? You know, with vengeance and that kind of thing. Um, this, <laughs> each one of these kills is going to take a long, long time, and these things hit me hard, because I've got one defense and, like, no other stats, right? So, yeah, flinching is kind of the only option I have right now. Um... I don't really know how this is going to work when we get to having to kill the werewolves, though, because they have a lot of defence in comparison to the civilians. Flinching clearly works to kill the civilian versions of the werewolves, but they themselves don't drop any of the items that we need. For that, we need to kill the werewolves, and therein lies the problem. If you turn the werewolves, they have 100 hit points and 70 defence. I can barely hit them at all. They regen hit points faster than I can deal damage, even with the Wolfbane Dagger, never mind with my fists. So at these sorts of stats, I can't kill them at all. This situation can be slightly alleviated if I hit them down to one hit point and then transform them, but even then they regen 40 hit points and I still can't kill them. Flinching reduces DPS by about 66 to 75%, and this is a big problem. I need to come up with a better way to kill them, however, keep in mind the 40 hit points regen. It will be important later. Now, I have been watching One Chunk series in preparation for starting this series. 
And I remember two instances of people having to kill creatures that they were hugely undergeared and underleveled for. Limpert with the Calphite Queen and Agile Tom with the Trolls outside Chambers of Zeric. Both use a main to tank the NPC for them and then just hit it down on their one chunk account. I was quite excited by this idea. However, it doesn't work. Canafis is single combat, not multi, like in both of the examples I just gave. If I tag the werewolf on my main to get aggro and then attack it on my one chunk account, I can only get a few hits off until it aggroes back onto me, solving nothing. I was stuck. I can't kill any werewolves. Then I had an idea. The old wildy bosses. You could drag them out of their spawn range and then you could attack them without them hitting back. Could I potentially do this in Canifis with the werewolves? I gave it a go, but I just couldn't really get anything to work. I think because they're one by one creatures, they can't both be outside and inside their wander distance at the same time. Again, I'd have been foiled. Something to bear in mind with this method at all is if a creature remains outside of its wander range, constantly trying and failing to walk back to where it came from, it will despawn after about five minutes or so. Think about when you trap a Master Farmer or an RD Knight when thieving. If it can't move, it will just despawn eventually. So while I can up my DPS by trapping them out of range, I also put a five minute timer on myself to get the kill. But I had yet another thought. Could I push them outside of their wander distance with a dragon spear? If I could, and I could keep them there, then I could very likely hit them without them hitting me back. However, if I hit the whale with a dragon spear on my main, it would transform, as I'm not attacking it with the wolfbane dagger, into a werewolf. And I'd then have to deal the full 100 damage against a creature with 70 defense in less than 5 minutes before it despawned. Except they don't transform. For some reason the Dragon Spear special doesn't even load as a proper attack. So the citizens remain citizens. So, now we have a plan. Dragon Spear special to push the werewolf out of range, hit the citizen down to one hit points, transform it into a werewolf, and finish off the remaining 40-ish hit points of damage in hopefully less than 5 minutes. I just have to find a spot to make it work. <laughs> yes! Yes, I found a spot! Oh, right, that's massive. I mean, I'm not getting the kill credit. I I'm not... Well, I guess it's because I'm hitting it on my main with the Wolfbane Dagger, right? But, I found a spot that it works. Oh my god! So, right, at the minimum, I've learned that I can train my stats easily on these things. Um... I just need to try and find a way to make it so that I actually get the kill credit so that I can get the drops that I need. But this is a huge step forward in the uh, in the one chunk grind. Oh, God. I, oh, it took so long to find a spot for this to work. I tried so many of the civilians um, and couldn't get it to work at all. But here we are. I've got a spot. I've got an NPC. We're good. I just need to uh, try and find out how to get kill credit somehow. <laughs> so as you can tell, when I first found the spot, I was I was quite excited, um, but I'd also had a brain meltdown thinking that I needed to tag the NPC with a wolfbane dagger, um, which obviously had a chance of hitting. Um, even I, I, I then kind of moved on to brewing down to avoid hitting quite a lot of the time, but it still hit sometimes. And I never thought, why don't I just use the dragon spear special to um, to tag it and not just to push it. Um, so once we uh, found that out, we had a lot more success. Right, let's show a kill setup. Uh, so I run it over here after having hit it with the Wolfbane Dagger. I then step in behind it like this, making sure not to go through it so that I still act as a blockade. And then I just go spec. Oh, hold on. Like this and then I can just start hitting it on this account yeah cool so that is an example of what we need to do to get the kill credit so now it's time to just kill a million bazillion of these that's a pretty neat drop to get a wine of Zamorak uh, I think that's pretty rare but also pretty useless to us because we can't make potions at all why am I running on this account right, he's running on this account 
But yeah, that's a uh, interesting one. And there is twenty strength. I don't know what level I'm going to start hitting fours. I hope it's soon because that'll speed things up a bit. Currently, we're getting four point four k strength xp per hour which is massive well it's a lot lot better than it was when i was flinching so i'm really really happy i discovered how to do this i really didn't know if it'd work and i especially didn't know if i'd get kill credit um so yeah this is really cool 25 strength uh and now we'll chain attack for a bit get some more accuracy and hopefully kill some actual werewolves relatively soon the issue is they've got 70 defense so it's really hard to actually just land hits on them um but hopefully with our stats getting better we'll get there soon and here is level 30 strength really sort of rattling through it now i think hopefully we'll be able to get some actual werewolf kills relatively soon oh 24 hit points as well very nice oh nice so uh, this fella should give us a mystery box and mystery boxes are actually very useful on this account because the best weapon i can achieve in this chunk is a steel scimitar right um, and it's the best weapon i'm going to be able to get for quite a while um, and from a mystery box, you can get a mithril scimitar. So let's hope we get one of those. The moment of truth. Can we get a myth scimitar? No. 500 coins. <laughs> it works. We're about to get our first actual werewolf kill. Um, this is massive. This is massive. Can we get anything good? No, we can't. But we can keep doing more of them. That is so good. Ah! Okay, so we just got an axe drop from uh, one of the uh, one of the humanoid werewolves, um, which is interesting because I can't use it, <laughs> which uh, means that I don't know I don't know what the plan should be. So there's no trees in this tr in this chunk at all um, that you can chop anyway. Um, but there are trees relatively close by. Now, one of the things that you might have to do in this chunk is cooking because there is a raw fish shop um, which sells sharks, right? So if I stumble into a fire at any point and I believe that there is one at the dig site, then I'm going to have to take fish like from here all the way to the dig site to cook them and then come all the way back to the bank to buy more fish again which seems a bit mental and what would be far easier would be to chop some logs somewhere else uh, probably like near Varrock or whatever if we get over there bring them over here and then set fires at the cannabis bank and just do it that way right um, so I think probably this it's hard to know, isn't it? I think probably the smartest thing to do is to start lamping wood cutting. So that once I get, I think, six wood cutting, I can use this steel axe to actually chop trees. So yeah, I think I think that might be the play. No! Oh no! <laughs> oh God! I've done it again! Oh my god, me and dying on the first episode of a uh, of a hardcore Iron Man series. Name a more iconic duo. How did that even happen? I had it safe spotted and I was just AFKing. Oh, how did I even do that? That's so bleak. That's so bleak. The grey walk of shame really acts as a... Uh... A depressing reminder of how badly you fucked up. <laughs> okay, so that is another wolf kill and 27 hit points. And something I didn't realise I got a long time ago was 20 combat. So I can get Slayer Task and I'm hoping there's going to be something in Slayer Tower. Like, you know, if I can get Crawling Hands, I could lamp the first few levels of Slayer. And then actually train some Slayer properly. There's a very slim chance that I could um, actually get training Slayer properly, um, which would be nice, because if you can kind of get up to the points that you've got enough skips, you could kind of be self-sustaining in Mauritania, but it also relies on the first task, doesn't it? So what are we going to get? No, you won't tell me. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Never had this dialogue before. 53 ghosts. Okay. Um, is that a good task? I don't know. I don't know that they're nearby, but I feel like they should be. We're in Mauritania, after all. Surely there's ghosts nearby. Oh, fuck. I didn't even know these. they could drop here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So that means, basically, as soon as I've got a pickaxe and a primary way to uh, train mining, I have to get 90 mining to mine a uh, level 9 fallen star or whatever it is. God. Okay, so we're quickly going to knock out some of the best in slot items that we need, and we basically just need a full set of these robes for our uh, magic bonus. I think you could probably get any colour, but it says to get the grey on the on the tool, so I guess I'll just get the grey for now. And we'll get the top, the bottoms, and the hat, and just look like an absolute chad. And there is our steel scimitar on um, werewolf kill number 15. Uh, so we've got 68 Svetlanas and 15 werewolves, which is taking quite a while. Um, but we can use that now as our best in slot um, weapon for probably the foreseeable future. So the stat difference is plus 11 stab and plus 10 strength for the wolfbane and plus 15 slash plus 14 strength uh, for the steel scimitar. So we'll still need to use the wolfbane to hit uh, the vampires down to like one hit point. Um, and not vampires, what are they called? They're like the humanoid version of the werewolves. And then we will swap to the steel scimitar for actually killing the werewolf itself, which is like the last 40 hit points. And there is the mithril chain body, which is another best in slot for us. I can't wear it at the moment. Um, but I think that means pretty much I just need the mithril square shield and the rune med helm and then after that i should be good and there it is the rarest item in the chunk the rune med helm which i cannot wear yet but we're getting there 28 uh defense at the moment we need 40 to wear it uh we've killed 39 werewolves and i think this is a one in 270 or so so that's a really good drop to get um Right, I just need to check what else I need in the chunk. Okay, so at this point in the recording, I switched to recording with uh, OBS instead of Camtasia, um, which is why it looks a bit different. And I also switched to a smaller window, uh, sometimes fixed, sometimes not, um, because I was playing like four separate accounts at once, so the smaller window just made sense. So uh, yeah, that, that's why it looks different. 34 defense, really rattling through. Not had any new items for a while, um, but yeah. Not bad. 37 defense. Really getting close to that, to being able to equip that rune med helm now. Very nice. Ah, so the werewolf despawned and just came over here, but my character got dragged over here just by default. Ah, this must be how I died that first time. It must have just despawned and then I followed it over back to the, uh, back to its regular location and it just killed me. Ah, that makes sense. And there is the final requirement that we need to equip all of the uh, gear in the chunk. That's the 40 defense for the rune med. So now all we are looking for is the mithril square shield. And then we can move on as soon as we've bought the, uh, what's it? What is it the thing we need to buy? Grey gloves or grey boots, one of those. Um, but we've got the cash for that. And then uh, as soon as we've done that, we can move on as soon as we get the Mithril Square Shield. So, exciting times. Time to grab our Rune Med Helm and equip that bad boy. Oh, oh, I look like a Chad. I actually don't look bad, to be fair, because I've got the, cause you can get a cape in this chunk, so you don't actually look like a, 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 a real noob. Um, but, oh, that's such Chad-looking gear. I love the random gear you get on one chunk. Um, I guess while we're here, we should pick up the... Uh, the remaining items from the shop that we need, which is just the great boots. Oh, looking good, looking good. Up to level 30 attack. The attack levels really help us when killing the whales, so I'll probably get a few more. We can now hit sixes with our uh, Wolfbane Dagger. That's pretty sick. I don't know. I wonder how high we'll be hitting by the time we get this Mithril Square Shield, because it's really not wanting to drop for me. Oh. Ah, first little clue scroll. Exciting. Can we do it? Obviously not. Search the drawers in the Calabi Archery Shop. No. But and we're nowhere near there, so I guess we'll drop it. And that was a short-lived 
piece of fun. And there is 40 strength. <laughs> How many more strength levels are we going to get in the process of... Hold on. In the process of getting this Mithril Square Shield. Hopefully, not too many more because... I really want to roll a chunk. I feel like that's going to be so fun to do, and I've never done it before. So, uh, yeah, hopefully not too much longer. 41 strength. Hopefully we can get this uh, myth square soon, or 132 werewolves for a 1 in 51 drop. So, uh, approaching 3x dry. 44 strength. <laughs> really starting to get through it now, hopefully for not too much longer. Ooh, cheeky little medium clue. Odds on us being able to do it. I'm guessing it's probably nil, but if it's in Mauritania, I might keep hold of it. That doesn't look very Mauritania to me. <laughs> Where is that? Yeah, not very Mauritania at all, right? <laughs> Again, a short-lived, uh, you know, short-lived little uh, burst of excitement dashed by the game mode straight away <laughs> although i don't actually like clues anyway so who cares it's starting to get to that point where i'm concerned that the mithril square shield like isn't on the drop table or something i'm uh, i'm at 163 werewolves and the drop rate is supposed to be one in 52 so we're three times drive which isn't too bad but i wouldn't put it past jagex slash the wiki to only put the mithril square shields on the drop table for say like the ones in god wars dungeon or something and i'm just going to be here for like 500 werewolves not getting one <laughs> um, but we'll see hopefully i get it soon level 40 hit points there it is there it is the middle square shield we are done right let's equip that bad boy oh we are looking strong now Oh, and that is it. All best in slot gear in the chunk. We have conquered Canifis for now because there's actually a shitload of stuff here we're going to have to come back and do. But we have conquered it for now. until So we can now roll a new chunk. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. So here we are on the chunk picker. We got our last requirements in this episode. So there is 40 defense ticked off. Magic and range uh, best in slot with, from the gray boots. And the mithril square shield ticked off. So that is every single task done that isn't backlogged in this chunk. So the backlogged stuff is essentially a load of stuff for um, from slayer levels. So I can't actually get any of this stuff. Um, at all um, because I can't uh, I can't wield any of it um, so I don't need to get it at the minute because I can't train Slayer I've got a current task of ghosts which I don't actually think there are any ghosts nearby um, but I guess while we're here we can go for a little bit of a uh, journey through the uh, chunks that are close by so um, in terms of grinds that are close by that could be kind of crazy if uh, we get them uh, we've obviously got the Slayer Tower here, which sticks out, which obviously has an Abyssal Demon, which has an 85 Slayer requirement on it. However, we can't really train Slayer that effectively, um, because there's not many Slayer creatures around by, and the only master we have is uh, the guy here, which has given us ghosts, which we can't kill until we're notably further away. Um, so that's kind of... We'll probably all get backlogged when I unlock it. Um, but we can train Slayer through... Uh, what's it called? Temple tracking, um, which we unlock in this chunk, but we don't really unlock it because I think you've got to first unlock it down here at Berg de Rot. So it's not actually that crazy. Um, other kind of notable grinds, uh, other kind of notable things nearby. The Actophantus is only just over here, which could help with prayer, but again, I don't know if it can because I don't know if I can get a pot and a bucket of slime um, because I can't get into Port Phasma. Fat Phasma Phasmatis because I need Acto Tokens to get in and you can only get Acto Tokens from the Acto Funters, so that's a bit rough. There's a farm patch here, not sure if I want to unlock that or not. Um, I think that'll probably shake up some kind of terrible grind relatively quickly. Um, but yeah, we kind of got the we got the agility course here. I think this here, the Nature's Grotto thing, is a 
level one training method for agility. So I think if I got that, I would have to get to level 40. I mean, I, I think it took settled like 11 hours to get level 15. So getting level 40 from using just that would be kind of brutal as well. Um, but yeah, we, the other, other than that, kind of there's risk that we're going to head west. Uh, this is obviously a kind of death chunk over here because of the uh, runecrafting cape. Um, but overall, I think there's some quite good stuff. Um, that, that, that will shake loose and I, I think starting here will be quite nice um what i would really like is to get barrows um because i think if i get barrows i can get myself i, I will obviously have to get myself every single set of um of barrows gear um but getting say like a full guthan set and a full carol set will let me do things like the theater of blood relatively easily so the theater of blood doesn't actually need any more quests than what I have done so far because um, I've done Priest in Peril obviously to get here which would normally be the the ag of getting here but if I kind of go what would it be sort of around here down here down there down there and down there um, that would be the theatre of blood which would be very cool um, the main issue though is the um, nightmare I think is in this chunk and that would be really rough and I'm not not exactly sure what I'd do if I got Nightmare before getting Barrows. I think if I had access to like full Darox and, and a Carol's uh, crossbow and um, and this kind of thing, then Nightmare's doable. Um, but I think if I don't, then it'll be really bleak and probably will kill the series. Um, but yeah, it's time to pick a chunk, so I think uh, I'll set that up now and then we can get to rolling. Okay, so there is actually no way to get into this chunk from this chunk, so that one's greyed out for now. So we're basically picking from these three, and I really don't know which one I'm hoping to get. I'm thinking three. I, I think I want to stay away f from this patch here. I think that is going to just throw up some kind of grim farming grind at some point. Um, so I'd like to stay away from that. Number two I think is kind of pointless and number one I think would be nice. I think my ideal route would be to sort of go down this way um, and to Barrows. So I kind of want to get one I guess and then start kind of pathing south. I would ideally not like to get one and then start pathing west but we shall see. So let's get to picking a chunk shall we? Oh god. Okay, chunk number three. <laughs> What's that going to shake loose for us? Let's go and have a look. Okay, so let's head over here and see what we can get. So this is the chunk that we have unlocked. Are there any choppable trees or anything like that? Let's go see. Uh, so how do we unlock this? I believe like, uh, like that. Yep, there we go. So we're stepping into this chunk now. What's here? Nah, so there's some leeches. So we're back in the chunk picker and these are the chunks that we have available. So I need to reactivate that one so we can do, yeah, all of these. That's the only one we can't do. And um, we can go down there. We can go to the east and we can go to the north. So let's pick another chunk. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Um, yeah, that's nice. Um, so apparently the chunk pick is picking up that we can do easy task seven. Will it give us any more details? Oh, here we go. Uh, kill a ghoul. Okay, I can probably do that, I think. I don't know what level they are. 40 something? I think I can probably do that. Um, ah, shit, okay. <laughs> I brought the wrong thing. Uh, where is the chunk picker? There it is. So I think I need to just kill a ghoul here and then I should be good. Um, I don't think they must not drop anything interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll get on and do that. Okay, so this is the chunk that we're moving into. Let's unlock it. I think we just go like this. Yep, yeah. okay, cool, right. And we're here. So we can go all the way through to Pathodermis Temple now. Um, but the main thing we need to do is kill one of these ghouls and I think I think I should be able to do it just with um, with no food because these aren't too high and I've got pretty high defense and decent-ish gear now. Um, but let's see, we might have to end up flinching it, but it should be all right. 
And there we go. Ghoul is defeated. Um, so this is actually quite a big chunk for us, I just realised, because there's an altar in here. And before this chunk, I couldn't re redo my prayer at all. Um, so that's quite big, and now means that if I can get protection prayers of some kind, I can actually re, re what would it be called? Restore my prayer points relatively easily. Um, there's nothing over here that's useful to us. There's the loose railing shortcut, which is level 65 agility. So once I get a primary training method, uh, we're going to have to get level 65, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I think what that would likely look like is getting the shortcut down here um, at the Nature's Grotto, which is the level 1 shortcut, getting to level 40 agility on that, and then getting level 40 to 65 at the Canifis course, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, other than the ghoul, nothing that we specifically unlocked in this chunk. So yeah, time to roll again. And we are back in the chunk picker. So what we need to do is unlock the the, uh, the chunks that we actually have access to go to now. So we can go down here, we can go up here, and we can go across here. So I prefer to not keep going west. Um, now, rune crafting for me wouldn't technically be as terrible as it would be for Limpwer. So because I'm going to have to get to... Um, Varrock, you know, the 99 rune crafting chunk via the earth altar um, I have a, a method to train it and because I've had to do priest in peril to get access to this area I have actually got access to the rune essence mine so I do have a primary method for training rune crafting quite easily which is I can just uh, mine pure essence in here bring it up here mine pure essence here, put it in the bank, and then I can just walk back and forth between this bank and the and the earth altar over here. As long as I get an earth talisman, which is the one aspect I've not thought of yet, but that probably shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, so I could do that a bit easier than he can. Um, so yeah, that, that that's not too, I mean, I'll say that's not too bad. It would still be probably months of my life. Um, but it wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, ideally we want to be getting chunk number five and we want to be kind of pathing down to the south because the sooner we can get to Barrows, uh, the better really. So I guess without further ado, let's pick a chunk. Number four. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't do that before, my bad. Uh, number four, I don't think there's going to be anything there at all. So let's go, uh, let's go check. Okay, here we are. So let's unlock the chunk like so. Cool, and let's go have a little explore. I really don't think there's going to be anything here. Um, if there is, I'll uh, I'll come back and let you guys know. So there's nothing really here except this witch. Um, is, is she a witch? I think she is. Uh, oh, the old crone. Um, it looks like she has no chat options for us at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the only thing here. Um, you can't get across there. That's for the creature Frankenstein quest, I think. Um, but yeah, otherwise we're uh, we're pretty screwed. Um, we're gonna have to roll another trunk, right? Okay, the kids got home, so we had to uh, take a quick pause. Um, but here we are, picking the next chunk. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. That is big. Okay. I think that'll help us. What's the uh, easy task that we have to get here? Uh, let's just. Let's ask for details. Is that what you do? Uh, none. Enter more mice from. Oh, okay, so just the act of going through the gate is what we need to do. Okay, cool. So we can do that, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll keep we'll keep traversing south. Cool. So I think just the very act of going through this gate is going to. Oh, actually, I need to. Uh, I need to unlock the chunk, don't I? So uh, one, three, six, two, one. That should unlock it. There we go. And so I think the very act of just going through here is the only task we need to do. Uh, oh, I need to go and see Drazzle first. Well, that's handy, because I actually can do now. Okay, he's telling me that I don't meet all the requirements to do nature's, nature's spirit. Not much to do in that place. Okay, so I think to go into Mortmire, I need to have all the requirements for nature's spirit. Oh, what are they? They're probably prayer level or something? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No! No! Oh, you fucking dick! I forgot to do Restless Ghost before I came into the chunk. Oh my god! 
I just got so excited that I'd like unlocked Canifis by doing Priest in Power. I totally forgot to do the Restless Ghost. I'm pretty sure I can't go through the gate unless I've done it. I guess I guess we can check. Now I've spoken to Drazzle, maybe it will let me through, but I'm pretty sure I can't. And I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? To do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, that is such an error. <laughs> oh, I was planning on I mean obviously this series is slightly different to um the other what Extreme One Chunk series because you kind of have to do some requirements to unlock this area. Um which is sort of why no one's done it before, because they tend to stick to areas where there are no quest requirements. Um but I thought this would be an interesting area to kind of explore in a one chunk format, right? Because there is actually a lot of interesting content here um, and a lot of high level requirements as well. Um, you know, Settled kind of did quite a lot of the content in Mauritania, but not in a very one chunk way. And if, you know, and Limpwer, Limpwer um, is obviously sort of down in Lumbridge. Um, and can't really even get out to Canifis because he has to do Priest in Peril and the Restless Ghost, which just take him into the uh, Wizard's Tower, um, which is a 99 farmer requirement in of itself. So this was kind of a way to, 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 to start this series in Mauritania. I'm happy to go west into Varrock and whatever, um, but I like the idea of having this area unlocked to make it a, a unique Extreme One Chunk account. So I think the punishment for this is going to have to be that I'm going to have to go and do The Restless Ghost, obviously. Otherwise, there is no series. There's no unique series, at least. Um, but I'm going to go and do it in the grey chunks um, of sadness just to uh, highlight to myself the error of my ways and, and being so forgetful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, well, we'll go, we'll go knock out The Restless Ghost and then we will be stuck to our chunks forevermore. I promise. I haven't forgotten anything this time, I swear. I think. I think. No, I swear. I promise. Okay, so here we are, starting Priest in Peril in the grey chunks of uh, depression. We shouldn't be here. We should have done this already long ago. But uh, here we are, having to do this shit 10-minute quest uh, whilst we've... Uh, <laughs> long since been in our chunk <laughs> oh no this is so bad oh well um yeah i was always planning to do this because basically all the content i need to, i want to do in mauritania for this series is locked behind the quest um so if i do this quest i can get to barrows and if i can get to barrows i can conceivably kill um nightmare and do the theater of blood in a one chunk format if i don't then I just can't like there's no there's no way to do it really and I would basically just be rehashing um, Limpwort series right because I would basically be have forced to push um, south and west before I could do anything in um, Mauritania so really kind of this is this is the only way to differentiate our series a little bit and make sure that we um, kind of get to do what or all that Mauritania has to offer in this kind of fish chunk series so uh yeah I'm really sorry about this I, I, I this should have been right at the top of the video and my brain has clearly malfunctioned um in a very serious way um but yeah I'll knock out this quest real quick return to Canifis and then you know that's where we'll stay for the rest of this account within our chunks so this is why um, Limpwort, for example, can't really get into Mauritania for a long, long time, which is this chunk here, which you need to cross over to get into uh, the wizard's, wizard's Tower. And this chunk is actually the Martin the Master Farmer trunk, which is a, a Ma Martin the Master Farmer chunk, which is a 99 farming requirement. So yeah, kind of getting into Mauritania without doing this quest as a prerequisite would just be really grim right i mean like I, there'd be no point in me doing it right because limpwa is 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 struggling with that um journey enough as it is and if i want to do a unique mauritania only extreme one chunk account this has to be treated as a prerequisite because otherwise it's i'm just going to be spending five years of my life uh 
getting 99 farming with no patches right until we can get here so uh yeah <laughs> i think i've said sorry a few times but i'll say sorry again my bad i should have done this at the start of the video okay there is the end of the quest and the last thing we're gonna be doing on this account for a long long time that is uh anywhere near lumbridge so uh, i'm gonna take the slow walk back to uh Canifis now and then we can continue with the Canifis chunk man series after this uh slight little uh, side quest we've had to go on um but yeah sorry <laughs> okay we're now back to uh back to solid ground <laughs> where we're allowed to be so uh yeah we'll just cl 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 climb under the temple grab uh go through the uh the gate to get that task done and then we'll be rolling the next chunk um excited to do that i'm excited to get to an another proper grind we've kind of been doing quite a lot of empty uh empty chunks at the moment so it'll be good to um get back to doing some something proper um i think most realistically we're probably going to end up with the 65 agility requirement relatively quickly um but other than that um i don't i don't know everything's going to be a surprise um once we unlock uh temple tracking we're probably going to be hit with an 85 slayer requirement pretty sharpish as well so uh yeah it's going to be fun Starting the Nature Spirit quest, which is the requirement we needed all along to get into Mauritania. Gave me some food and time to go. That might actually be semi useful to us in the future. Um, right, let's nip through the gate and then we can roll the next chunk. Let's uh, just check we can now. I think we should be able to. That should be the requirement ticked off. Should have done that ages ago. Yeah, there we go. So we're through the gate and there we go. There's the easy task. Cool, right, so let's go start a chunk. So we can tick off the chunk that we just did by going through the gate and we have now unlocked this one and this one that we can roll. We can't actually go west here yet, so that's a chunk that we cannot roll, so we're not gonna unlock that one. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to rolling. I'm still hoping that we're just gonna keep sort of pathing south. I think that's gonna really be the uh, the uh, the way that's going to unlock as some proper content, pretty sharpish. So let's go for it, Slayer Tower. Okay, okay, okay. So as you can see, this actually unlocks an incredibly long list of stuff. However, yeah, none of it is from creatures we can kill because we're only one Slayer, right? So even the uh, even the stuff like the Iron Mace, for example. Um, is locked behind a banshee right so we can't train slayer at all so we can't do any of these tasks so we're gonna have to backlog every single one of them so yeah 15 slayer requirement on that one um and yeah it's just gonna be an incredibly long list of uh slayer requirements right um so it shouldn't so i'm gonna have to backlog all this stuff um but i'm not sure how i'm gonna train slayer. i don't know whether it's the lamp it or just kind of keep going but yeah this is kind of where we're at I'll have to backlog all this stuff and then we'll uh, we'll re-roll another trunk chunk and once we start actually training some Slayer we'll be able to start knocking this stuff out sort of one at a time so that'll be that'll be cool that, that is, it's good to have that unlocked because eventually I am going to want to um, train Slayer right so yeah let's uh, let's backlog all that and then we'll roll the next one cool so I thought I'd check um, if you can get into this uh, this uh, kind of place here and you just can't you just cannot path into this chunk from the side um, so there's no way to get over there so that isn't gonna have to be a trunk chunk that we have a uh, rollable right um, cool right so let's roll the next one so we're back here again let's see uh, what we get this time um, I'm really hoping for number six or number five and I'm really not hoping for number one or two number I can't remember what number that was now. Um, right, is there anything there? Complete Rag and Bone Man up to step one, which is probably just speak to the guy. Um, cool. Yeah, I just need to uh, talk to the odd old man and then we can uh, get back to rolling again. But we've now unlocked potentially, uh, you know, access to things like the lumber yard and the dig site. Um, so they're going to be kind of chunks that we can roll soon. Um, so we're kind of creeping ever further west. Uh, so hopefully we kind of start getting into Mauritania soon. So time to unlock this chunk. I believe it's one through three, six, six. 
And away we go. Right, let's go speak to the uh, odd old man. Cool. So with that done, do we get the sack? Do we get the sack early? Can we wear it as a cape? That might be something that we get. Uh, come on. Oh no. Turns out I don't. <laughs> um, no bone sack for me. Um, right, but that is the chunk done. And on to the next one again. Okay, so in checking if we could get into this chunk, I accidentally stepped over the line here and unlocked the lullaby track. But this is kind of, we can go this way. I just wanted to check whether this mountain was in the way or not. Um, and it's not, so we can pass south from here. So, with speaking to the old man knocked out of the way, let's uh, crack on with unlocking the next chunk. So, again, we're kind of hoping for number five, number four will be okay. We're trying to stay away from number one and two, because I want to stay away from this herb patch as much as possible. So, let's see what we can get. Number four. Okay, right. Is there anything there? Looks like there's absolutely nothing there at all, based on the chunk map. Uh, so, right, I'll, I won't go there right now, we'll just roll again, because why not? Number seven is now unlockable, so hopefully we keep pathing south. Oh, ho, ho. oh that's big, but, right, why is that Why is that done level 71 agility? Um, okay, right, so what have we got? Obtain a Merc of Grace, that's fine. And then we've got this hard task, I'm guessing this hard task is what the uh, 71 agility is for. Um... Details. Climb the advanced spike. Ch it's the level. That's it. Right. It's this. It's this. Uh, it's the spike chain up to the third floor of that. Oh, that's brutal. Right. Seventy-one agility is what we're gonna have to get to get up there. I've got no access to summer pies or agility potions, so that's gonna be kind of grim. Um, but I think so. The map doesn't pick it up, right? Because I've not got the uh, Lumbridge and, you know, the, the chunks unlocked for Priest in Peril based on this map. Um, or the Restless Ghost. So it's kind of this this chunk task thing isn't picking up that I've got um, the Restless Ghost unlocked. Um, but I think now I should have access to this Nature's Grotto down here. Um, which should, in theory, I'm hoping, let me do the Nature's Spirit quest. Um, and then I'm thinking if I can do the nature spirit quest, I can start in search of my queue and get this. This is where my thinking's going. I believe in the my queue hideout underneath the, behind the pub in Canifis, there is some ghosts. And if I can kill the ghosts there, which is the slayer task that I have um, from very early on in the video, then I'll be able to get some slayer XP and then potentially start killing some stuff in Slayer Tower, such as the Crawling Hands and, you know, getting the unique items that I need from there. And then hopefully getting another task, which I might be able to do again, blah, 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 and hopefully be able to get some Slayer done and start getting some of those Slayer Tower uniques knocked off. Um, but yeah, we'll go down here and have a look what's in this chunk, see the uh, training method that we've got to get to level 71 agility. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just failing this crossover here, which is one XP per time. Um, so I think we're looking at dozens of hours to get to level 40. Once we get to level 40, it won't be too bad because we'll be able to actually do the Canifis rooftop course. Um, so 40 to 71 won't be as awful, but I'm thinking level 1 to 40. <laughs> it's going to be really, really grim. Well, I guess there is a benefit to um, getting, my getting 71 agility, which is that I won't have to walk everywhere like I am at the moment with one agility. Um, oh, who are you? Mysterious old man. Give me a mystery box. Come solve a maze for me. That's huge, because that can give, like, actual good runes, and I'm going to need runes eventually to start Barrows. That's obviously a self-sustaining thing once you um, once you start it, in terms of getting the runes for uh, spells and stuff, but you need some runes to start. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but this might be a perfect opportunity. I don't actually know what um, opening these like halfway house chests gets you. Anything? An attack potion? <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually quite good for me, considering I cannot do herbal or at all. So what, you can get potions. Can you get anything else from them? That's sick. Who knew? Right, we've still got quite a lot of our reward left. I think I should be able to get another chest over here. See if that can give a potion. Strength potions or whatever would be really good. Um... 
Right, let's open this one up, see what we can get. Fire runes, nice. They're going to be useful for us. Can we go this way? Yeah, right, can't get through to that one, so that's all right. Head over here. That's cool. Cool, so we reached the centre with 63% of our awards left. Oh, 62, because I forgot to touch the thing. Right, what are we going to get then? Hopefully just loads of runes, that'll be useful. Uh, mithril ore coins. Okay, that isn't too useful. <laughs> I don't need the nature runes. I kind of need like mind runes and air runes and stuff. But okay, that's pretty cool though. Getting that I can get runes from that because that'll be. I hadn't thought of that as a useful way to get runes. Right, let's uh, let's get back and see if we can uh, access nature's grotto. So I'm gonna bank all of the uh, the food and stuff that we've got um, because I don't want the ghasts to uh, to spoil it. Um, so yeah, this is consider this a small little bank video as well, I guess if I haven't showed it before um, But I'll bank all of that stuff. Um, I'll take the ghost speak amulet with me um, But yeah time to uh, time to head into the swamp So we're crossing into our new chunk now And we are still heading south so we need to get to the sort of the south border of this chunk and sort of see what's there um, So these snails, I don't know what their drop tables are, but potentially they have something interesting um, the ghasts hitting me for threes is quite interesting. I don't know how I'm going to alleviate that. Um, is that a nature spirit thing? Right, so I... Hang on. Hold the fuck up. Can I even get there? So I can't get to the bridge. Can I? I don't see how I could. I can't get that way and I can't come this way either. So is that just the chunk... Pick a thing, picking that wrong, picking that up wrong. Or there's not another training method here that I don't know about, is there? Um, so the stone isn't there. What else is here? Yeah, you can't get through there. That's, so that's just picking that up, even though I can't get there. So actually, it looks like I have to have this chunk unlocked so that I can take, you know, one step into there before I can uh, access this training method. Um, yeah, I can't access that. Yeah, there's no way I could access that. So, right, we're going to be back at the chunk picker then. <laughs> so, we're now back in the chunk picker, and, um, yeah, we can't access the training method that we were supposed to, try, uh, to, supposed to be able to access, um, because we have to go into this chunk to do it. Um, so, that's just the chunk picker picking it up wrong. Um, but, yeah, we'll keep rolling. I'm still kind of hoping to get this number seven, because I do keep wanting to keep going this way, right? Because eventually I want to get to Barrows. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's pick, well, I'll have to backlog this stuff and then we'll pick the next chunk. Right, so let's go and hope for number seven. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Right, okay, cool. So we'll unlock these two, um, but yeah, we can get down there now and we can unbacklog all of those agility tasks that we just backlogged, um, which is, so that one, unbacklog, unbacklog, unbacklog. Not gonna wanna do it, no? Okay, um, right, so we can just unbacklog all of those, which were the only ones that were the thing. So we can now have a primary method to chain agility with that shortcut. Um, they won't do it for some reason, but calculate 71 agility, Get over there, and yeah, there's a couple other shortcuts that we need to do, but that is the main thing. 71 agility. Let's go uh, try that shortcut. Okay, so we now have access to the shortcut that we wanted. So the chunk is number 13619. So let's add that in. 13619. Uh, Done. And now we can get over here. Is there anything else interesting? So we got all of this, which has some interesting NPCs. Um, but the main thing is that we can now cross this, well, or fail to cross this bridge, right? Which I think gives very small amount of XP, um, two agility XP, and damages us. Um, okay, so this is probably not going to be a very great grind, because we're, because uh, <laughs> we need to get level 40 agility doing this, and I have got, fucking hell, that hits a six. Can this kill me? Oh, nice. It gives 15 XP if you succeed it. Okay, cool. So, but I think I'm assuming my success rate is very small. Oh, God. Right, if that can hit sixes and the gas to there. Okay, I'm going to need to have to figure something out so that I don't die. Um, 
but yeah, this <laughs> this could be an interesting chunk. So I guess that is where we'll end the video with the prospect of getting level 40 agility using the bridge shortcut at Nature's Grotto. No idea how possible that's going to be. Um, I'm going to be keeping the Ghost Speak Amulet a bit like the Wolfbane Dagger. It is a reward of a quest that I have to do to be here. Um, so, you know, within the rules that we've established, that's fair to, to keep. So I should be able to do the uh, Nature's Grotto quest, uh, Nature Spirit quest, sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll end it here. We've got a huge grind um, before the next video comes out. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been a kind of new experience for me. Um, we've got our uh, best in slot gear from the Canopus Chunk, which took a long time. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that you guys will uh, enjoy this new series that I've got cooked up. Um, it's going to be interesting. I think, you know, based on the chunks that we've got so far, we've done very bloody well to get this far south. Um, it looks like we'll have the Barrows chunk relatively quickly, which will be a whole ordeal in of itself, trying to actually get all of the Barrows gear with extremely limited resources. Um, once we eventually start going this way a bit more, you know, we'll be pretty close to uh, the theatre of blood down here. Um, but I'm, this is kind of the one I really want to do. I want to get to Barrows. I want to get all the Barrows gear, and that will be a real sort of game changer for the account, to be honest. Um, because I'll be able to get some proper gear. I'll be able to actually then, you know, start looking at things like the Theatre of Blood and, and uh, the Nightmare as possible. Um, we also unlock the Slayer Tower, which is going to be kind of a MAGA in the long run. Um, I think if I get to this chunk, I unlock Temple Tracking. Um, and once I unlock Temple Tracking, I can train Slayer and I can also train Mining. Um, so I'll need to get 90 mining as well. So we're, 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 we're by no means um, going to be going for Barra soon because we need to get that 71 agility and then there's potentially a load of other mega grinds we need to do. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. This werewolf course, that might be actually worth doing as well um, if I can do it. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. And, um, yeah, see you next time.